do you think tesla will be a turning point for uh, ev revolution in india or do you think domestic oh, already, ev revolution in india is already started i feel that within 5 years our 60% buses will convert into electricity right now only 1% have been yes so. but there is a huge demand now and that is exactly the field where the big potential is there does that include private buses i have a meeting with the brazilian uh, member of parliament coming to my office we have a long discussion we are now working on flex engine and that is also very important we are working on all alternative when is that expected that flex engine actually in august uh, the toyota is going to launch their flex engine vehicles and particularly now we are planning to make a e highway cable from ur2 from panipat coming to peripheral road after that this road starts to jaipur we want to make e highway we are in the process and there will be luxury coaches two or three buses so joined. do you really think we can be atmanirbhar in this category i mean china is the biggest player then there is europe there is us so are we going you know remember that camry yes uh, so that's like that in place of petrol we will lose 100% bioethanol petrol rate is 120 ethanol is 60 rupees the world is, uh, <laughs> is very important yes sir because uh, see half of the middle class will, will go for retrofit you are uh, this proposal to the finance minister thank you so this much this is sir. also good because do you think tesla will be a turning point for uh, ev revolution in india or do you think domestic oh, already, ev revolution in india is already started all are welcome and i am just i am coming with the electric car you just see what yes. type of quality is now indian manufacturer also making good quality of electric cars and i have a really good experience about it at the same time if tesla want to come they are welcome we don't have any problem we will support them have they had a discussion with you also the tesla top team many times we have discussed the issue actually at the visit of prime minister also there is an interaction i am feeling that in due course of time tesla tesla will come to india because india has got a huge domestic market and that will be a win win situation for both coming to your personal choice that you use a hydrogen car and uh, you you were one of the first to use uh, are there other cabinet colleagues uh, who do the same uh, use uh, electric vehicles or what is the adoption like uh, within <laughs> I, I, the government i am telling you that i am very much against to petrol and diesel car for fossil fuel car. so i am making the campaigning to the people that use electric car you alternate your fuel flex engine anything but don't use this uh, fossil fuel because the pollution is a big concern but do you have followers within the government Uh, many two three ministers are now using electric car, and now government has lot of department has taken a decision that now 15 year life of government car now it is mandatory for all the department to scrap it. So on the basis of that, the new car they are purchasing probably majority of the department want to take electric cars. Is there any signature scheme that is in the works uh, related to uh, this segment, EVs? Signature scheme, I don't know. Okay, all right, and. do you have any message for the industry my message to industry is indian potential for e vehicle is tremendous it is beyond imagination and it is domestic point of view there is a tremendous potential at the same time export potential is also big and when you will cross the number it will reduce the cost we will be more competitive and i am not talking but i just i am with my all information i am telling you the cost of electric scooter cost of electric auto rickshaw cost of electric car and cost of electric bus and now we are starting electric truck also my feeling is we are lowest in the world and the quality point of view we are very much good quality we have on the basis of that for the futuristic plan there is a huge potential for e vehicle in the world and we will be the biggest exporter for that this industry size is now presently 7.5 lakh crore the industry is creating employment to 4.5 crore youth this is the industry which is giving maximum gst to the state and central government and this is the industry which contributes in our gdp growth maximum so do you really think we can be atmanirbhar 
in this category? I mean, China is the biggest player, then there is Europe, there is US, so are we going to do it? Actually, in, in Jammu, we have just uh, our MENA Department of Mining and Minerals identified uh, the lithium ion big mine there. And uh, every year our import of lithium ion is 1200 ton. So actually when I was in Srinagar with the LG, Manoj Sinaji, he called the secretary and I tell them, you don't waste time. You try to make it as early as possible that if the lithium ion, we will get it from that mine. It is going to reduce our import and reduce the cost. If we are going to reduce the cost, we will be more competitive in the international market. So I feel that this, this is not a problem. But at the same time, we are working on alternative chemistry. That is zinc ion, aluminum ion, steel ion. Our uh, aluminum ion also a successful experiment. I am expecting that our starters and particularly the research people are doing excellent job. In due course of time, this chemistry will be developed. And we are not only depending upon lithium ion. At the time for lithium ion, I am expecting that as early as possible, we will get it from Jammu. And that is going to strengthen our economy, that will reduce our import about lithium ion, and that will reduce the cost of the vehicle. I am Dr. Anupam Dev. I am from Hockeyvee. Hockeyvee is a retrofitment company. So we are retrofitting normal IC cars into electric, pure electric basically, which would come to the public at half the price or maybe less than half the price of a new car, sir. But uh, we would like to request the government for some support, sir. Electric cars have a GST of 5%, the new cars, whereas our cars are being charged at 18%. So that we call upon the reduction of uh, uh, the GST taxes on the retrofitment, sir. <laughs> Your demand is, uh, <laughs> is very important. Yes, sir, because see, half of the middle class will, will go for retrofitment. I will take your uh, this proposal to the finance minister. Thank you so this much. This is sir. also good because two wheelers, three wheelers, and car. If the poor and middle class people convert them, it can be really a good thing. And we have already uh, passed the all standards related with it, and we will support it. There are a lot of startups who are going Sir, to Sir, we would it. also request the governments to come forward and use, recycle their old vehicles and retrofit Sir, it. Sir, it is Army is doing it, sir. I am doing cars for the first, Army. First of all, what my suggestion is, it is depending upon the quality which you are giving. Sir, we are following all yeah, the I, AI I know standards. that. It is, to be, it is to be market is going to decide about it. Yeah. Yes. If you Thanks. can give a good alternative, 100% people will prefer it and they will take it. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. It just, I was in Tirupati. There was electric bus and actually the same principle they have. Actually, it is going to reduce the cost, but the cost of the, uh, that value was very high. Somewhere we need to reduce that. And we have to make bus very nicely, beautifully, furniture and everything. Without that, people will not take it. That is to be a problem. Uh, my last question, what really will drive uh, e-mobility? Will it be two-wheelers? Will it be cars? Will it be buses, trucks? What? All e-vehicles. And we don't need to make any market for them. I'm just asking you a simple question. Probably you may have a petrol car. Your expenditure on your car may be 25 to 30,000 rupees per month. If suppose it comes to 3,000, I don't need to market you to tell you that use electric cars. Now the people are understand. Only problem is that as compared with the petrol car, scooter, auto rickshaw, the electric cost is high. But within due course of time, it will be same like petrol car and there is a lot of saving at the same time there is no pollution so people are going to take it now you don't need to add, uh, people now there are 400 startup they are making electric vehicles electric scooters and everyone is booked they are getting good orders some of the people making e cart i am telling you the example of e rickshaw when i started it and talking about it there was one crore people who driving e rickshaw i filed the case up to the supreme court and today I am happy that one crore people, you never see this cycle rickshaw on the road. Totally it is a transformation, it is change. So I feel that the people know, they understand what is the benefit and they will, by natural course, they will take the decision and it is going to be a big market for the country.
Yes, that's right. Uh, that's very encouraging. And uh, coming, coming to the core subject of EVs, uh, we are seeing a lot of headlines uh, on EVs. I know it's not your core uh, administrative ministry, but do you think at the policy level things would have, should have been better on EVs? And even like big company like Suzuki, Mercedes, Toyota, they are also started export from here. We have a big potential for electric buses. I feel that within five years, our 60% buses will convert into electricity. Right now, only 1% have been. Yes. So. But there is a huge demand now, and that is exactly the field where the big potential is there. Does that include private buses? 100%. Actually, I am insisting because of the transport minister, I always impressed by the model London Transport. There are nine operators, and a bus is belongs to operator with the public private investment. Driver belongs to corporation, and conductor belongs to uh, corporation, and driver belongs to also somewhere in corporation or somewhere is from the private sector. And there is a card system, and already camera is there. So the Indian situation, our problem is, that is diesel is a big problem. I don't want to make any comments on it. You know that what is happening to the diesel. And other is about ticket. Now there will be a cameras by which you can use your card at the time when you enter into the bus, either wait time when you leave the bus. So that can be an electronic system by which we can reduce the losses. And on the basis of that, I suggesting the manufacturer to make them buses on that design and I feel that then it will be 100% possible that our state transport will be in profit. Coming to the target of uh, 2030, aren't the numbers too lofty? Uh, what are the challenges on the way and do you think those targets will be achieved? Yeah. This, this is to be a good picture and I feel that at the same time we are working on flex fuel. We have just launched one pilot project in Bangalore by adding 20% methanol in diesel. Now Ashok Leyland and Tata has also got their buses and truck IC engine where we can use uh, hydrogen. So there are a lot of development is going on and I feel that it is going to be an alternative fuel will be a great source for the country. The policy is import substitute, cost effective, pollution free and indigenous. Even the flex engine we are going to launch today. I have a meeting with a Brazilian uh, member of parliament coming to my office. We have a long discussion. We are now working on flex engine and that is also very important. We are working on all alternative. When is that expected, that flex engine? Actually, in August, uh, the Toyota is going to launch their flex engine vehicles. Okay. And uh, you know, remember that Camry? Yes. Uh, so, that's like that. In place of petrol, we will use 100% bioethanol. Petrol rate is 120, ethanol is 60 rupees. So, that 60 rupees ethanol, that will 40% uh, of the electric power, we will get it from that. So it will be free of charge. So average petrol rate as compared with the average will come to 15 rupees per litre. And the EV, particularly the electric, will be less than 6 to 7 rupees per, uh, per uh, kilometre. So naturally I feel that it is to be going to be a great boost for Indian automobile industry for uh, accepting EV and other alternatives.